There we go. Good morning. Hope everybody's good. I'm good. I got one year. No boost. Good on me. So, it's my Friday also. This is really good. Bubble gut. So, I ended up buying another four pack because um it's my friday and i got one year no drugs and i got to work today so i wanted to have a couple beers there for uh after work and then i'll start fresh tomorrow on my saturday uh no beer but i don't want to get off work you know and not have a beer right before my weekend so i'll start fresh tomorrow um right on my two week minimum oh hi mom my two week minimum no alcohol so that'll start tomorrow all right so one year now i got one year under my belt yay for me now we're gonna aim for the rest of my life So, I don't know if I'm going to keep counting the days or just not worry about it and just rem and just celebrate once a year. I'll probably just do that because I don't need to make a big deal about counting every day because I'm never going to go back to the, the drug. I'm just um, going to celebrate uh, April 17th every year. And... Um, just want to, you know, change things in my life, man. Like I did, I got off drugs. I'm changing that. I'm going to get my booze in check. I'm going to change that. I don't expect anybody to, you know, change anything about their selves because I'm doing it. Um, I can still have friends that drink beer if I'm not drinking it. doesn't matter to me. It's all willpower after all um, when it comes to drugs I'd rather not be around that because it's first of all it's illegal and if they get busted whoever's around them gets busted too even if you're not doing it that's how it rolls so I don't want to be around illegal drugs you know just bust, bust the person that has it and is on it whoever's hanging out with them gets to go to jail with them because they clump them together Plus, if they're smoking it, I don't want to be inhaling secondhand smoke. I'm not that I'm weak, and I if I if I'm around it, I'm going to do it. It's just I don't want to be around it. I don't like watching the people making the mistake that I was making, you know, by taking the drug. I don't like to see people doing that to themselves. You know what I'm saying? You need that even goes with alcohol, man. You know, I, I know I I've been drinking, but I still don't like to see my friends or anybody hurt themselves with it, you know. You know, I've I've hurt myself a few times with alcohol, quite a few times. And uh, I wanna put it into that. So I got just enough beer for tonight when I get off work, and then that's it. I'm taking a break for a minimum of two weeks. We'll see how it goes. Like I said in the last few videos, we'll see how I feel. Uh, I'm going to, you know, ease my way back into the gym, ease my way, my way back out to ride my bikes. It's always hardest in the, at first because I'm out of shape. I'm going to push myself for that, to get that rolling, get a routine going. Now I need to work on my schedule at my job because it's all over the road right now. And um, I need, I can't really get a set, a good routine going if my work schedule's all over the place, you know. So I need to talk to the boss about getting my schedule a little more consistent. So that's the plan, man. 
I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm one over. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> no biggie. I got to sleep in today. But um, I'm pretty sure I'll be feeling better. The first, this that's why I wanted to kind of just stop on my weekend. Because um, I'll have Saturday, my Saturday and Sunday to dry up. And if I'm feeling shitty, I, I'll just stay in bed. Or I'll go do something, get, you know, get my mind off of it. So, I'm just keeping in my mind, it's just a freaking beverage, man. It's just a freaking drink that has a little alcohol in it. It's meant to enjoy one or two. And that's it. That's what it's, it's, it's made to be consumed responsibly. And that's what I'm aiming to do I know I know people that are beer brewers that drink more responsible than I do so there's no excuse for me to be drinking nine beers on a work night and then having to call in sick the next day that's irresponsible and you know that cost me a lot of money actually if you deduct the uh, amount of pay that I'm going to be losing, those are like freaking $20 beers, you know, shit. So I can't afford that, that mess. Plus, um, inflation's still going up. Everything's going, still going up, man. I, I'm watching the prices literally by the week are going up again. So I'm getting priced out of, of beer anyways. You know, I, I can't really can't afford to drink anymore. Not the beers I want. You know, I mean, the beers, I, I can't even afford budget craft beers hardly anymore because of the inflation, man. I just dump $50 a week in my gas tank in my truck, and it only gets me three quarters of a tank. That's just a little four-cylinder truck. So definitely... Alcohol is getting priced out of my life for the most part. I mean, I don't like budget craft beers that much. I'd rather just not drink because I'll eliminate the cost of the beer and, you know, having to drink, you know, kind of crappy beer. I'd rather just not drink. So, you know, it's kind of like with women. If I can't have what I want, I won't have one. You know? When it comes to my beer, I'm a little bitch. I want the, the fucking best I can get, you know, that I can afford. Same with women. I'm not going to settle for something. Why would I do that? Then everybody ends up hurt. Never settle, man. I'm over settling. If I can't have it, if I can't get what I want, I'm, you know, I'm just going to not have it. It's that simple. And, uh, you know, if I, if I know when I get this change happening, okay, I don't know why I'm flopping my arm around so much. Anyways, uh, when I get this change happening, you know, I get this ball rolling in more of the direction I want, um, there's a lot more possibilities of good things happening for me than there were when I was drug addict, alcoholic. That's for sure. So, because Metrolink, starting Prairie Dog. But um, I'm not going to rant too much more here. Um, as far as the channel goes, it'll just be kind of random videos. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what they're going to be. They're just going to be posting whatevs for a minimum of two weeks. Uh, when I do come back to beer, I'm just taking a break. I'm not quitting. I'll resume with beer reviews if I can afford it. Um, if, if I don't come back to drinking, it's because I can't afford it. That's why. Um, we shall see. I'll cross that bridge when it comes. Okay. But um, <clears throat> I'm going to hope I feel 
really good with going to the gym and back to riding. I'm sure I will, and I'm sure I'm going to love it, and we'll see how it goes with beer. Uh, I think, you know, beer is great, but, you know, sometimes you got to put it on the back burner to get the other things handle, handled like I plan on doing. But for now, um, I'm going to execute my plan like I did with my drugs. And, uh, yeah, the difference between drugs and beer is um, I hit the wall with drugs. Okay, that's it for that. I never hit my wall with the beer. The beer is hitting the wall with my wallet. <laughs> okay, and uh, me you know, have not having the control over it like I want to. And so, you know, I'm, I'm going to just put it in the closet uh, until I feel like I can afford and maintain control over that stuff. You know, then I'll reintroduce it back into my life. Okay. But uh, I'll still keep the channel going and stuff. I'll, I don't know what I'll be posting. Maybe I'll you know, do some ride video, ride along videos with my bikes. I'm not going to be the guy in the gym doing videos in the gym. Who cares about that? If I do any gym videos, it'll be one video showing my, my routine and that's it. And that'll be for training purposes for other people that might want to use my routine in the gym. That's that. But you know, I'll do some ride videos. I'm sure maybe I'll do some vlog or, you know, some, some videos from the beach or wherever I happen to be riding. That's the cool thing about riding a bike. You get to ride on really neat bike trails and they're real pretty. It's pretty fun. And just whatever, uh, whatever videos. So I got one year. Woohoo! Yay for me. So I've started Prairie Dog. I got to get ready for work. It's my Friday. Yay. Um, uh, another big thing I need to work on. And I'm hoping being completely clean and sober is my motivation and getting things done here around here. And man, if I can't get things done being clean and sober, I got to reevaluate my entire situation and see if this is the, the right situation for me to be in. Because I don't like feeling like I'm always behind and under the gun. Maybe I bit off more than I could chew. Uh, we'll see how I feel being completely clean and sober. I'll cross that bridge also when it comes, and that bridge is coming up. So, y'all have a good day. I'm not going to be doing daily vlogs now. I don't see the point. I approved to myself I can vlog my recovery every day for one year. I don't need to go keep going forever with it. But So, um... I wouldn't be looking for these vlogs every day anymore after today. Um, they'll just be random from now on. So I'm sorry if it disappoints people that I'm not going to be doing daily ones, but I just don't see the point in doing it when I'm not going to be drinking for a while. And I you know, don't need to do another whole year of daily vlogs. I just don't think they're going to be that interesting. Uh, it's just going to be the same stuff repeating it's probably going to be mostly political and stuff like that and work, me crying about work, you know. So hopefully I don't lose subs over this. I don't know. But anyways, I do thank you all for your continued support. I really appreciate it. This ch I'll still be here, but I just won't be doing daily vlogs. I'll be random. And any of you can always, always feel free to contact me in the comments or whatever. My email's on the channel. Um, maybe I'll come up with a new thing for my channel. I'm not sure. I, I do have some friends now that could help me figure something out if I want. We shall see. So um, thank you for your support. And uh, just stay tuned for um, whatever video happens to pop up on this channel. So uh, y'all have an awesome day, and uh, catch you later. See ya.